hardship. Act now, not tomorrow. People are suffering. Senator Oji Kadu asked Tinibu to reconsider economic policy. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to air this morning. As our headline for this morning says, Concerning the hardship, act now and not tomorrow. People are suffering. Senator Oji Kalu asked Tinibu to reconsider economic policies. Senator Oji Kalu, the former governor of Abia State and current senator representing Abia North, has called on President Bola Tinibu to urgently address the economic hardship faced by Nigerians. During a press briefing at the National Assembly on Tuesday, Kalu expressed concern over the rising struggles among citizens largely due to the recent economic reforms. The hardship is real. People are suffering. We manage about 10,000 workers in our group and ensure they are paid in this difficult time. In this difficult time is a challenge, Kalu said. While he acknowledged the, bold, the boldness of Tinubu's decision to remove the first subsidy, Kalu stressed that the government must reconsider the move in light of its severe impacts on the population. If I fly anywhere, maintaining and um, following a private plane cost between $10,000 and $20,000. I had to tell senior members of my company to fly commercially so we could save money to restructure and support our workers across Nigeria and West Africa. Anyone must be able, to, everybody must be able to eat in this time of hardship, Kalu explained. He praised Tinubu's courage in pursuing economic reforms, but urges the president to act quickly to alleviate the sufferings. No president in the last 60 years has dared to do what President Tinubu is doing to reform the economy. But we need to bring succor to Nigerians immediately, Kalu said. He has to act today, not tomorrow, because the situation is there. No president elected by the, gov- by the people would want his citizens to suffer, the lawmaker added. Kalu also suggested that the re- reintroduction of the full subsidy could be reconsidered. I am not in economic team. I am not in the economic team. I have not seen the president nor anyone to ask. But this is what the president had to had to sit with his economic team to discuss. The discussion he has taken are what no president in this in, in the sixty years of the republic has been able to take. In a lighter moment, Kalu d- dismissed rumors of his death, death, clarifying that his absence was due to academic pursuits. There was nothing wrong with me. I took permission from the Senate president about seven days before the, the Senate went to recess. I enrolled in a course on democracy and the economy at a university, which I paid for myself. He shared, I didn't lie, I didn't go to a medical checkup, but if people say I've died, we give thanks to God. And that was all for you for now concerning what was said. Concerning this headline today this morning, we said that concerning the hardship, act now, not tomorrow. People are suffering. Senator Oji Kalu asked Tenibu to reconsider economic policies. Hmm. Now they are begging Tenibu now to reconsider. Well, we cannot you cannot deny the fact that this hardship in this country wants to kill everybody. Yes. We have to deny the fact that hardship in this country wants to kill everybody. That is why Senator Oji Kalu is telling me that he should act now, not tomorrow. Yes. Well, before I move on, don't forget to tap that subscribe button with the notification bell so that anytime you have any new updates concerning this, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Well, Oji Kalu, who is the former governor of Abia State and current senator representing Abia North, has called on the president to urgently address the economic hardship that is killing Nigerians. Oh, Kalu expressed concern concerning the rising struggle that citizens are undergoing, just, just largely due to the economic reforms, the bad, bad decision that Tinibu himself has take, taken. This hardship is real. People are suffering. We can't lie. Yes. Can't we say that everybody must have the right to eat in this hard time, no matter what? No matter what? Tenimo must know how to manage an economy. Believe me, it is very surprising that if, 
if Tinubu was not a politician before, people people would say that hey, he's a newbie, does not know what he's doing, this and this. But Tinubu is a politician, he knows all this we're talking about. He's a, he's a former governor of Lagos State for crying out loud. And he's acting as if he has never even been to politics before. Making wrong decisions at a particular at, at a very wrong time. That is that is how the situation in Nigeria is at, at now. Is like if you look at people were thinking that yeah, hey, if Tinibu come we will elevate us. People demand ah, people wanted best for this country, but look at where it got us to. Under one year, what has he achieved? Nothing. Let us stop fooling ourselves. Somebody even debated Nigeria on, on Twitter saying that Nigeria is a suffering and smiling country. It is true, Nigeria is a suffering and smiling country. Whereas we suffer, but we we'll still have we we'll still smile in, in ourselves, thinking that there's hope. But if Tinibu do not act, act now, if Tinibu do not act now, believe me, that hope that, that, that is in our mind saying that don't worry, things will change, things will change, things will never change. Let us stop fooling ourselves. If our politicians cannot act now at this point in time, things is not going to change you. Things is not going to change. All you can do to Tinibu that you have to act today, not tomorrow, because the situation in this country now, it has reached a critical stage. The situation is dire. No president elected by the people would want his citizens to suffer. Abi? Or what do you guys just think concerning all these economic reforms that Tinibu has taken that has caused our country to suffer like we have never suffered before? Because it is very, very surprising. Drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as the big red one with the notification bell. So that anytime I have any new video, you will be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.